Hi guys, we're going to talk about a fun new um, language arts topic today. It's called figurative language and we're going to be talking about it for the next few weeks and the first type of figurative language we're going to talk about is a really fun word. It's called an onomatopoeia and it's one of my favorite kinds of figurative language and I think you're going to like it too. And you might be thinking, Mrs. Clam, did you just make up that word? And I promise I did not, it's a real word, and you're gonna to totally know what it is as soon as I show you and tell you. So an onomatopoeia is a word that when you're reading, it spells out the sound that you would hear, like clonk, 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 or zap, or smash. Any of those kind of words are onomatopoeias. And to give you a better idea, I'm gonna show you some. And then I'm gonna tell you about what your assignment's going to be. So I'm going to share my screen so I can show you. I've brought up some. All of these here are onomatopoeias. Boom, wow, splat, zap, pow, crash, bang, poof, wham, oops. All of those are onomatopoeias and they are all onomatopoeias because, let's see if I can stop because they make a sound um, when you're reading. They, they make the sound that would be made if you were hearing it. So your job today is to write down 15 onomatopoeias that you can think of, make a list. You can type them in Google Classroom or you can just write them out on a piece of paper, that's fine too. And then you're going to choose two onomatopoeias to illustrate the same way as we just saw in that comic book really fun style. So I chose the word flap as one of my onomatopoeias and I drew it out like this. And Reagan chose kapow as an onomatopoeia she liked and drew it out like that. Your job is to make a list, 15. You need 15 onomatopoeias, write them out and then draw two of them, okay? I can't wait to see what you share. So, oh, also, if you want to share them, you can take a picture of your onomatopoeias and share them on our Google Classroom or on our Blooms page, or you can email them to me so I can see what you've done. All right, have a good day and enjoy finding out about onomatopoeias.